welcome dear students to my channel in this video we will do the three questions of the only exercise 1.1 of chapter 1 rational numbers the new ncrt book so watch and listen to the video very carefully note down all the answers solutions but later on make sure that you do these questions on your own as well so let's get started Question number one, it has got three parts. The question says, name the property under multiplication used in each of the following. So part one is minus four upon five into one is equal to one into minus four upon five is equal to minus four upon five. So the answer is the under the above multiplication, the property of one being the multiplicative identity for rational numbers is used. So dear students remember that one is known as the multiplicative identity for rational numbers. And in the standard form we say that for any rational number a, one into a is equal to a into one is equal to a. So here in this question a is minus four upon five. In simple language, we can say that if you multiply any number by 1, the value of that number remains unchanged. Its identity does not change. That is why it is known as multiplicative identity. So multiplication by number 1 does not change the value of any number. This is the property which is used under this multiplication. Part 2. 13 upon 17 into minus 2 upon 7 is equal to minus 2 upon 7 into minus 13 upon 17. So the answer is under the above multiplication, the property of commutativity is used. Why? Because multiplication is commutative for rational numbers. It means while multiplying you do not take you do not have to take into account the order in which the numbers are written you can write 13 upon 17 first or you can write 13 upon minus 13 upon 17 later on so here also it is minus 13 upon 17 here minus 13 upon 17 in this on the left hand side minus 13 upon 17 is written first and on the right hand side it is written in the second position so it will not affect the product it will not affect the end result in simple terms we can say that 2 into 3 is equal to 6 and 3 into 2 is also equal to 6 so in general terms we say that for any two rational numbers m and n m into n is equal to n into m so part 3 minus 19 upon 29 into 29 upon minus 19 is equal to 1. So the answer is under the above multiplication, the property of multiplicative inverse is used. For any two rational numbers m and n, m upon n into n upon m is equal to 1. In other words, these two numbers are reciprocal of each other or multiplicative inverses of each other. So whenever you multiply a number with its multiplicative inverse, the result is always 1. Always remember this. Now the last two questions. Question number 2 is tell what property allows you to compute 1 by 3 into bracket 6 into 4th by 3 bracket close as 1 by 3 into 6 within bracket into 4 by 3. So the answer is the property of associativity allows us to do the above computation. Multiplication is associative for rational numbers. For any three rational numbers a, b and c, a into within bracket b into c is equal to within bracket a into b into c. It means while multiplying any three rational numbers, you can choose any two rational numbers first, 
multiply them and then the multiply the product with the third number. So it doesn't matter whether you multiply B and C first and then you multiply the result with A or you multiply A and B first and then you multiply the result with the third number C. Let me give you an example, simple example, 2 into 3 into 4, 2, 3 the 6, 6 into 4 is 24. Now 2 into 4 is 8, 8 into 3 is 24. 3 into 4 is 12, 12 into 2 is 24. 2 into 3 is 6, 6 into 4 is 24. So out of 3, you can pick up any two numbers you wish to multiply first and then you multiply the third number with the product. You will get the same result. This property is known as property of associativity. Third question and last question is fill in the blank. The product of two rational numbers is always a answer is rational number. No matter whichever two rational numbers you take, when you multiply them, the result is always a rational number. Why? And mathematically, we say like this because rational numbers are closed under multiplication. It means multiplication of two rational numbers always gives you a new rational number. So these were the only three questions of the only exercise 1.1 of chapter 1.1. So dear students, keep studying hard in a regular and disciplined manner and goodbye till the next video. Thank you very much.